Good morning, everyone. I'm John Berman. Carol Costello has earned the day off today. Happening right now, some of the biggest stars in the Republican Party are at a summit in Washington. This is called the Value Voters Summit. Senator Ted Cruz and Rand Paul will be speaking later. The focus generally there is on socially conservative issues like the fights against same-sex marriage and abortion rights. The senator speaking right now is Mike Lee from Utah. And I want you to take a look at this poll from Brigham Young University. It shows that the favorable opinion of Senator Lee among Utah voters is sinking, dropping 10 points since June. Could this be a possible result of his role in the shutdown? Joining us now from Washington is David Brody. He is the chief political correspondent for the Christian Broadcasting Network. And David, you know, we see a lot of potential 2016 Republican presidential contenders here. The focus of this summit annually is usually social issues. But will the budget shutdown force its way into prominence there over the next several days? Well, there's no doubt about it. As a matter of fact, that's going to be top uh, top A, or tier A, excuse me. It's going to be right at the top. Uh, i got to tell you, all of these social issues that we have seen in the 80s and the 90s, and yes, in 2000 and beyond when George Bush was president, yeah, they, they were prevalent, there's no doubt about it, and they were, they were a big deal. Now, however, you're seeing a lot more of the economic, the budget matters taking over rather than the social issues. Will there be a nod to traditional marriage? Yes. Abortion? Yes. Uh, but I got to tell you, John, those are going to be one line and they'll be huge. There'll be applause lines, but it's not going to be it's not going to dominate the speeches here. You are uh, having several interviews with some of these senators later today. As I said, potential 2016 presidential contenders. How do they navigate right now the issues between the, the Tea Party faction of of the party, the Republican Party and leadership led by Speaker John Boehner now? And will how they navigate that prove crucial to them for their 2016 hopes? That's a great question, John, and it is crucial for all of them. Look, Rand Paul and Ted Cruz uh, have both pretty much embraced that moniker. Marco Rubio, on the other hand, it's been interesting to watch, and not just because of some of the stumbles on immigration, but he has, uh, he needs to kind of figure out exactly where he's going exactly with this as he looks and has an eye towards 2016. There has been uh, some ties, obviously, to the GOP establishment, and at the same time, he tries to play up his Tea Party cred, so he's not quite sure exactly exactly what role and what world he wants to be in it right now. I think that bears watching. Uh, but yeah, we're going to talk to Rand Paul backstage uh, here in just a few minutes, along with Ted Cruz later today. Uh, and, and, and i got to tell you, one, one of the key questions is going to be is now what? Now that Obamacare looks like it's going uh, to be a side issue in some sort of budget deal, uh, where, where do you go from here exactly? And you know, it's much different being a U.S. Senator uh, than it is President of the United States. And it's a, it's a question that will need to be asked. Senator Cruz hasn't really answered that question yet. Now what? He does speak at the conference in a little bit. You heard Van Jones from Crossfire last night ask him if he would apologize to the Republican Party for his role in the shutdown. I do not suspect he will be apologizing to this crowd there today. So what message do you think he'll be trying to send? Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, no, he won't be apologizing at all. As a matter of fact, he'll probably ramp up the rhetoric for sure. Uh, look, it's going to be a very populist slash Tea Party type message, uh, one that will rile up the base because Ted Cruz knows that this message plays very well in Iowa and South Carolina. And I got to tell you, I've been traveling around the country, John, and I've been out to Iowa and South Carolina. What they are telling me on the ground is that Ted Cruz is not only the real deal, but Ted Cruz is the one guy, they call him robo-candidate. He's the guy that if they could, manu they being social conservatives and Tea Party conservatives, if they could manufacture a candidate in a lab somewhere, Ted Cruz is the guy. And I got to tell you, and this is what's going to drive liberals nuts here, John, is that he's a guy that is a world-class debate champion. He's got all of the Ivy League street cred as well. So he's not one of those Tea Party folks that you can kind of dismiss. He's got intellect behind his ideas, and I think that's where there could be some problems as it relates to how are you going to fight Ted Cruz if you're a liberal. And just to put a final point on this last question here, David, the polls we've been showing this morning, the new polls show that a majority of Republicans are blaming Republicans for this shutdown. I do not suspect it is the same sentiment in that room where you are standing right now. It is probably vastly different, and that is the audience that these candidates will be speaking to. 
Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, they think that the, they're not even looking at it in terms of the Republican Party. They, they, they're really looking at it in terms of a conservative, a constitutional conservative fight here. And, you know, I think a lot of folks are missing the end game here. A lot of people think the end game is the Gallup poll numbers or what the Republican Party is going to do in 2014. Look, John, what we are seeing right now is a transformation, or at least what the Tea Party hopes to be, a transformation into a constitutional conservative Republican Party. Is that going to take uh, years uh, in the making? Absolutely. Will it take decades? Possibly, for sure. But here's the thing, John, and this is really important to remember. This is kind of like an intervention. You know, when you have an alcoholic and, and family members need to get involved, there has to be an intervention. That's what the Tea Party is trying to do here with the Republican Party, saying, whoa, stop the spending, stop being GOP establishment. And this crowd here is on board with that. And that's why you're seeing all of the machinations between everyone here. David Brody at the Value Voter Summit. Great speaking to you. Look forward to those interviews you have later today with some of these key senators. Appreciate you being here.